The Andromeda Galaxy, the Milky Way's nearest neighbor, is the furthest object in the sky that can be seen without a telescope. Although the galaxy is a stunning spiral, you may not be aware of one crucial fact. Andromeda is traveling in our direction and is likely to collide with the Milky Way sooner than expected. With Andromeda being just 2.5 million light years from Earth, it is an easy target to study in order to learn about its devastating impacts on our soon-to-be merger. So what did James Webb recently uncover about our neighboring galaxy? How soon will this merger occur? And most importantly, how will this affect you? Let's find out. Andromeda, a spiral galaxy similar to the Milky Way, has a concentrated bulge of matter in the center, encircled by a disk of gas, dust and stars. Though Andromeda has a trillion stars compared to the Milky Way's 250 billion, our galaxy is actually more extensive because it is thought to contain more dark matter. Andromeda and the Milky Way are on a collision track that will permanently change the structure of the two galaxies. The galaxies are approaching one other at around 70 miles per second, 112 kilometers per second. Astronomers predict Andromeda will collide with the Milky Way within 4 billion years, with the merger complete in 6 billion years. By then, the Sun will have swelled into a red giant and eaten all the terrestrial planets, so Earth will have other concerns to worry about before that event. However, the new dust influx should boost the development of stars in the new Milcomeda galaxy and the Earthless Sun that may eventually leave the Milky Way. Following a chaotic phase in which arms protrude from the combined pair erratically, the two should settle into a smooth elliptical galaxy. Galaxy collisions are a natural aspect of the development of the cosmos. In fact, Andromeda and the Milky Way seem to have collided with other galaxies. Andromeda has an unusual form due to a massive ring of dust at its center. Astronomers think this dust was created when it devoured an already existing galaxy. In the Book of Fixed Stars, the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi made the earliest documented mention of our closest neighbor, referring to it as a small cloud in 964. Simon Marius, a German astronomer, made the first telescopic view of the object, which Charles Messier mistakenly assigned to him when he gave it the designation M31 in 1764. At the time, the object was still referred to as a nebula. Isaac Roberts took the first Andromeda pictures in 1887. The far-off galaxy was raised during the great debate between American astronomers Harlow Shapley and Heber Curtis in the 1920s. Astronomers at the time believed that the Milky Way made up the cosmos and that the weird patches known as nebulae were contained inside it. Curtis claimed Andromeda was a different galaxy since he had seen many novae there. The issue wasn't resolved until 1925 when Edwin Hubble discovered a unique kind of star in Andromeda called a Cepheid variable, a star whose properties allow for accurate distance estimations. Hubble's calculations showed that the fuzzy patch was too far away to be located inside the Milky Way since Shapley had previously established that the Milky Way was only 100,000 light-years broad. Hubble later discovered that the cosmos was expanding using his observations of the galaxy's Doppler shifts. When Walter Bard became the first to detect individual stars in the galaxy's center area and discovered two distinct kinds of Cepheid variables in the 1940s, the predicted distance to Andromeda quadrupled. After radio emissions were discovered by Hanbury Brown and Cyril Hazard at Jodrell Bank Observatory, radio maps of Andromeda were produced in the 1950s. Our knowledge of the Andromeda galaxy's size has expanded in recent years. A halo of material encircling Andromeda is six times bigger and 1,000 times more massive than previously estimated, according to measurements made in 2015 by the Hubble Space Telescope. At the time, scientists suggested that the Milky Way may also have a halo. Possibly the two galaxies' halos are already blending. However, this comes after updated size estimations based on star and stellar motion observations were made in 2005 and 2007. Scientists used a mosaic of Hubble Space Telescope pictures to create the most detailed image of Andromeda, published in 2015. The picture was combined with 7,398 shots from 411 telescope pointings. More than 100 million stars and other characteristics like dust formations were visible in the galaxy, as shown in the photograph. Scientists at the time predicted that the photographs would assist in extrapolating the structure of spiral galaxies, which are more challenging to study in such detail since they are farther away from Earth. 
The actions of black holes in Andromeda were also investigated. Two supermassive black holes were unexpectedly discovered, closely circling one another in late 2017. The study group claimed these black holes were perhaps the most tightly coupled supermassive ones yet discovered. The most extensive collection of candidates yet discovered outside of our Milky Way galaxy was 26 black hole candidates found in Andromeda in 2013 due to a search utilizing NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope. Using NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, NUSTAR, which focuses on X-ray observations, another 40 black holes were found in 2016. In 2017, scientists discovered a possible pulsar, a dead star that spins fast, in Andromeda. The X-ray source was discovered by NASA's SWIFT satellite. According to recent measurements, this object's light spectra look comparable to that of pulsars in the Milky Way. Other discoveries in Andromeda include tracking the birth and death of stars in infrared wavelengths in 2011 and finding gamma-ray radiation in 2017 that could be an indication of dark matter, which is a substance that is only known through its effects on ordinary matter, such as galaxies, and finding a ring of dwarf galaxies around Andromeda in 2013, which is something that could also be present around the Milky Way. Astronomers understand that galaxies develop throughout time by merging with other galaxies. It's occurring in our galaxy right now. The Milky Way is gradually swallowing the Magellanic Clouds and the Sagittarius Dwarf spheroidal galaxy. The development and evolution of galaxies is a widespread issue in astronomy, which is one of the reasons the James Webb Space Telescope has received so much attention recently. One of the JWST's primary scientific goals is to return to the universe's earliest galaxies to learn how they grew and developed into what they are today. However, it is not the only telescope that can shed light on the problem. The Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, EDC, made these new observations of Andromeda and the inward movement of stars. It was designed to assess the impact of dark energy on the expansion of the universe. It collects optical spectra from tens of millions of objects, primarily galaxies and quasars, and then creates a 3D map of the findings. The DESI spacecraft is comparable to the more well-known Gaia satellite. Gaia's mission is to accurately map the locations and movements of billions of stars in the Milky Way. Data from Gaia led to a slew of new findings about our galaxy. However, it is limited to mapping stars in the Milky Way. Astronomers have uncovered fresh evidence that our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, expanded by merging with another galaxy. The catastrophe caused a massive star migration into the galaxy. This occurrence shows that star migration to Andromeda and the galaxy's development history is remarkably similar to the Milky Way's. As a result, the discoveries have ramifications for our knowledge of both galaxies. The proof comes in the form of studies of the individual movements of over 7,500 stars in Andromeda's inner halo. This indicated that these stars were born as part of another galaxy which is merged with Andromeda some 2 billion years ago. And that map, which includes the movements of roughly 7,500 stars in the Andromeda galaxy's inner halo, exposes their past. Large galaxies like the Andromeda and Milky Way have long been anticipated to have grown to their present sizes via collisions and mergers. However, patterns in star movements that may corroborate this has remained elusive. These findings are published in the DSE observations of the Andromeda galaxy, revealing the immigration history of our nearest neighbor. According to DC, another galaxy joined with Andromeda roughly 2 billion years ago. The locations and movements of around 7,500 stars recorded by DC indicate that they originated in another galaxy. The theory suggested that this is how Andromeda and other galaxies became so huge, but there is now a growing amount of compelling evidence to the contrary. According to lead author Day, the new observations of the Milky Way's nearest giant galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, provide evidence of a galactic immigration event in exquisite detail, remarked. Although the night sky appears static, the universe is dynamic. Over cosmic history, galaxies like M31 and our Milky Way have been built from the building blocks of many smaller galaxies. A comparable merger occurred between 8 and 10 billion years ago in the Milky Way. Most of our galaxy's halo stars were born in another galaxy and joined the Milky Way due to an ancient merger. By attentively watching this comparable, more recent merger event in Andromeda, Astronomers may understand more about the Milky Way's early history. We have never seen this so clearly in the motions of stars before, nor have we seen some of the structures that show result from this merger, 
said co-author Sergei Kopasov, an astronomer at the University of Edinburgh. According to him, the emerging picture is that the Andromeda galaxy's history is similar to that of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. A single immigration event dominates the inner halos of both galaxies. We see the structures that arose due to the merger for the first time. Though the velocities and positions of the 7,500 stars were important in these discoveries, so was stellar metallicity. The scientists discovered high metallicity stars in all of the merger's substructures. We find significant numbers of metal-rich stars across all of the detected substructures, implying that the progenitor galaxy had an extended star formation history, possibly more representative of more massive galaxies, the scientists conclude. The research emphasizes parallels between Andromeda and the Milky Way, bolstering the theoretical hypothesis that mergers are essential in galactic history and expansion. The power of DC is on full show in this study. The findings result from DSE's capacity to simultaneously collect spectra from 5,000 objects. This complicated instrument is the world's most powerful multi-object survey spectrograph, capable of reconfiguring its 5,000 different focus planes in less than two minutes as it slews between targets. It was created to explore the universe's large-scale structure and how dark energy feeds its expansion by measuring the spectra of approximately 40 billion distant galaxies and quasars. It's also showing us how galaxies fuse throughout time. An international team of astronomers used the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DC, to study the Nicholas U. Mayall 4-meter telescope in Kitt Peak National Observatory, which NOAA Lab maintains. Throughout cosmic history, galaxies like M31 and our Milky Way have been built from the building blocks of many smaller galaxies. Most stars in the Milky Way's halo are assumed to have originated in another galaxy and found a new home during a large merger event between 8 and 10 billion years ago. Examining remains from a past merger and star migration event in Andromeda may aid scientists in searching for comparable galaxy artifacts. The team chose DESI because it is the world's most powerful multi-object survey spectrograph, capable of measuring the spectra of over 100,000 galaxies in a single night. However, this science could not have been done at any other facility in the world. Day noted that the incredible efficiency, throughput and area of vision of DESI make it the most excellent system in the world for surveying the stars in the Andromeda galaxy. DSI surpassed more than a decade of spectroscopy with much larger telescopes with only a few hours of observing time. Even though it originally opened its eyes to the cosmos in 1973, the Mayal telescope can still participate in cutting-edge research like this because of five decades of modifications and enhancements. The collaboration between DESI and the Mayal telescope will be used to explore stars closer to Andromeda's edge. They expect this will disclose more about the galaxy's structure and its star's migratory history. Scientists predict the Milky Way's halo will be comparable to the two galaxies since they are so close in size and appearance. In other words, the weak halos of the galaxies seem to have started to touch one another, implying that our two galaxies' collision has already begun. Each galaxy is now unique. A core supermassive black hole exists in the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. Over millions of years, these black holes will spiral into one another and converge near the center of the newly formed galaxy. When two supermassive black holes are within one light year of each other, they will begin to strongly emit gravitational waves, which will radiate additional orbital energy until they ultimately merge. The gas consumed by the two black holes might unite to create an active galactic center. A massive quantity of energy will be unleashed if this happens. You may be wondering about the future of our solar system. According to current predictions, the solar system will be pushed out three times further from the galactic center in a combined galaxy than it is now. Our galaxy is split into spiral arms with the sun in one of them, known as the Orion Spur. If we were thrown farther out, our solar system would fall on the tips of this arm's fingers. Scientists believe that the solar system will be expelled from the newly created galaxy at some point during the collision. Of course, Humanity would be long gone by then, so there would be no solace. Assuming no planetary engineering, such an event would have little detrimental influence on the solar system, and the odds of any disturbance to the sun or planets themselves are small. The Earth's surface will have gotten far too hot for liquid water to exist by the time the two galaxies collide, thereby ending all terrestrial life. 
Yet our planet will still be stuck in the center of this collision and its vision of the cosmos will never be the same. Thank you for watching and while you're here be sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing space videos. I'll see you there.